Let's talk about group of very powerful tools which enable you to spy on your competition, on the online behavior of the customers on their sites. One of them is SimilarWeb. We're going to present you how to use it. Before that, let's just tell you briefly what you can do with that. SimilarWeb enables you to do three types of things. First of all, to understand the customer engagement on the site of your competitor. So you can estimate the number of visits. It tells you also what was the time spent on average on the site of your competitors, how many pages they saw, what was the bounce rate and favorite de domains. Apart from that, you can understand also what was the generating the traffic on the sites. So the source is it direct? Did they come from referred sites? Maybe it was mail or social countries, referring sites, top destination on the site, and then also detailed analysis on the search. So how much was paid? How much was actually organic? What were the phrases used to, to get to the site? So it actually gives you tons of information of how the customers were behaving and how they were getting to the site. To a limited extent, you also can analyze the, the audience. It is not as rich as it was in the case of the Facebook audience insight, but it's still worth seeing. Now let's try how it works in practice. We're gonna be using the, the free version of SimilarWeb. So whatever you see here is a result of the free version of SimilarWeb. Let's start with a media site, the, the biggest media site uh, in Poland, which is the Virtualna Polska, vp.pl. So here it shows you how it is positioned against other sites. So it is seventh in Poland in terms of news media, 13th, and then global rank it's uh, 143. Here you find the number of people visiting it. So it is actually on average 130 millions of users. On the right, you will find other interesting KPIs like the, the time on the site, average time spent, page per view. So you can actually see that they are using a lot of time. Once you get there, you are on average seeing almost eight pages and the bounce rate is relatively low. So the, the people are so familiar with the, the brand that they know what they go there for. And then here also the traffic to sub subdomains. So here you can see the main, but also the, the mail and other. In this section, the traffic source, you, you, you'll manage to understand where the customers are coming from. The majority in this case, it's direct. So actually so shows you how strong the brand is. So if you wanted to compete with them, it will be very difficult because the brand recognition and brand load is quite big. Referrals. It is also quite big, but as you can see, mail, mail wise, it is really, really low. And the same goes for the social search is also a significant source of traffic in terms of ge geography, not surprising since, since it's Polish one, it is Poland, but actually you can see people from other countries as well. Referring site, this tells you where the people get from. So it is the, this is actually the mail, ma ma mail service connected to the Virtualna Polska and top destination in terms of the one where you go from if you enter the VP. Search traffic, as we said here, I'll show you what was the organic, what was the paid. So as you can see, the the paid is really, really low. And um, the organic search is again by the name. So people, instead of putting the, the name, they, they put it in the search. And then the same goes for the mail product, the TV and others, social, it shows you what percentage of the traffic is generated by social media. And here the importance of the social media, which Facebook is the strongest one. Display advertising. So here you, it shows you the top AdWords net networks. And then last but not least, the audience interests. So what they are interested in, what other websites also visited uh, and the cloud of topics. Here you will find also similar sites to the one we mentioned. 